Hi, I'm Ryan, and today we're going to go over mounting a match precision optic from Brownells. So here we have some of the items we'll be using today, some tools and stuff. Uh, first thing first, we'll want to check and make sure that the rifle is clear. So we'll do that by opening the action, visually inspecting, and then physically inspecting as well. And since most of what we'll be doing is on top of the action and won't actually need to use the gun functionally, we'll go ahead and remove the cheek piece and remove the bolt just to make sure it's extra safe. So right now we have a basically kind of half-stripped Howa 6mm Creedmoor barreled action and a KRG chassis. And we're going to be mounting our optic in some Badger Ordnance scope rings today. So first off we're just going to kind of loosely fit everything to the rifle. And then we'll make some small adjustments once everything's set in place to set it up to the shooter. Once we have the rings we'll kind of loosely fit onto the rail, we're going to go ahead and remove the ring caps. We'll set those aside in the same orientation they came off. Depending on the type of ring, it might come coated in a layer of oil. I know these Badger ordnance rings are steel, so they will come with some kind of anti-corrosion oil on it. So we're going to just go ahead and take a rag, try to get off as much of that oil as we can. On both portions of the ring. Paying specific attention to the portion that's going to be touching the actual scope. We don't want anything slipping there. And at this point we can go ahead and loosely install the optic into the rings. We'll go ahead and slightly tighten these down just to keep the optic from moving too loosely in the rings. Once mounted you should still be able to make small adjustments to the scope. And what we're going to do is put the cheek piece back into the rifle if your rifle is fitted with one. And we're going to go ahead and get behind the rifle and kind of get set up with our eyes closed so we can kind of set it up as naturally as we possibly can. So once in position we'll go ahead and open our eyes and see kind of where our face is positioned behind the optic. The goal is to set up the optic to you not conform your body to get behind the optic. So the first thing I'm noticing is my eye is too low. So we'll go ahead and raise the cheek piece a bit. And perform the action again. Now we have it set up to our eye and the first thing I notice is the scope's a little too close to me. So when I open my eye, my body wants to pull back just a bit. So what we'll do, move the scope forward slightly in the rings. If you need to, you can undo the rings from the base, move them forward, whatever is needed to make it fit. Now we're pretty well set for eye relief. And now what we'll want to do is line up the crosshairs so they're vertical. An easy way to do this is simply hang a plumb bob on the other side of a room and orient your rifle towards it, get in position, and then turn the optic until the vertical crosshairs match the vertical of the plumb bob. Now the scope should be pretty well set up to you. And we can go ahead and start tightening down the scope caps and the scope rings themselves. Before tightening down your rings or your mount, it's important to push the rings or mount as far forward as possible. This will keep them from moving under recoil. Okay, first we'll start at the bottom where the scope rings are mounted into the base. We're going to go ahead and tighten those to what Badger specifies for their rings, which is 65 inch pounds. It's important to have a torque wrench just to keep all the values the same and to keep you from damaging the rail, the, the firearm, or the optic itself. We'll go ahead and torque these down now using the Brownells torque wrench. Now that those are torqued down, we can go ahead and tighten the scope ring caps. When torquing down the scope ring caps, it's important to use an alternating star-like pattern, like when you would tighten the lug nuts on a car. This will help evenly distribute the force. Badger suggests we use 15 inch pounds on the ring cap, so that's what we're going to do today. It's important to pay close attention to the gap left between the rings on each side 
try to keep them even. They don't have to be perfect, just as close as you can get it. Again, I'm gonna reiterate the importance of using some sort of torque wrench set to the proper settings. Again, this will prevent any damage to the scope tube, to the mount, or to the rifle itself. Just a little bit of insurance. All right, now with everything torqued down, we're pretty much ready to hit the range and get the optics zeroed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.